Thank you, Deacon Charles. I will now call upon the co-chair of the National March for Life, Ms. Margaret Mountain, to introduce our special speaker. Good evening. It is my pleasure to introduce to you tonight a woman who has spent more than nine years, nine months in prison for quietly, prayerfully witnessing to the humanity of the unborn child. I give you now Linda Gibbons. Also with us tonight is Dawn Spratt, who has also spent time in prison in British Columbia for doing exactly the same thing. May their witness be a witness to us also. So good to be here, brothers and sisters. Peace of Christ on each one of you. To be here tonight, I really wanted to say, what are we here for? I believe we are here, we are answering the cry of the unborn. That we are ready to uphold, declare and proclaim the law of God written on our heart that we should love our neighbor and each one of us here has decided in our hearts to embrace the unborn and then figure out what should I do what can I do what am I willing to do and then go forward in the power of Christ to reach out for protection for our unborn friends. So I think it's very poignant that we are close to an abortion mill and that we believe every assault on an unborn child is an assault on our Canadian liberty. And we, with this vote tomorrow, understand that our parliament should assume responsibility for unborn life. And I think that is something that's very precious in each of our hearts, in our prayers, and that in this country, until our unborn brothers and sisters are safe, there will be no peace, not in our hearts, not in our country. I leave you with the challenge that we are a few and yet we can do much and that we challenge each other to do that little bit more, to make that little bit of difference, to go the extra mile. And that witness tells the world that we're serious about changing things in this country so that every human life has value, has dignity, and that we embrace life as we love our unborn brothers and sisters. So that's simply my message, and I know I'm preaching to the choir, but it gives me great joy that you are here, that we're not at home in our living rooms just talking about it, you're all standing here, that we're, we're doing something, and that we are present where our friends' lives are executed. We're here as witnesses, and we're here in love. We're here in prayer. And for you being here today, just, I can't tell you, and when I know I'm in prison, I know you are here. I know you are standing. I know you are loving our unborn friends. And that, this speaks volumes to me when I'm inside, that I'm not alone and the unborn are not alone. So thank you. And I was going to throw this open for questions, but maybe there is no questions. Thank you, thank you. 
So God bless you and God bless your 40 days here as being the first protectors of our unborn friends. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.